Oh no. You are running in the Susu elections, aren't you? I've avoided concourse all week so that I'm not constantly being attacked from all angles. Fine, I'll listen. You have purple balloons and a funny hat. Why should I vote? It's a waste of time, isn't it? Hi there, my name is Sasha Watson. I'm running for the VP Academic Affairs role. You should vote because whoever is elected, they will be working with the heads of the university to improve your university life, not just spending their time in jesters. My position deals with fixing cost problems and making sure you get the most out of your degree. What sort of things are you looking to improve then? I have a range of ideas for various courses, but my main aims will be to develop your academic experience, improve your job prospects and modernize the library. Okay. How are you going to improve my academic experience then? Well, first, I want students to be able to see the module evaluation scores for each module when choosing their options. It's rather pathetic that schools force students to base such important decisions of what modules to do purely based on a five-line summary and a cool-sounding name. If you could see what score a module got, you could tell whether it was better than another option or not. I would also fight extending the working day to an 8 a.m. start and an 8 p.m. finish. Most students dislike 9 a.m. lectures, let alone 8 a.m. 8 a.m. lectures? Screw that. Exactly. I also want to set minimum standards for tutor support. Most people do not even know who their tutor is, or how they can help. Some people have even said their tutor has effectively refused to see them, what the hell? It is even worse for students who do joint degrees like politics and history, the school support is awful and they do not communicate at all. I want them to work together more and stop students having to run from avenue to high field five times to get their exam results. That is a massive pain, and thinking about it, I haven't seen my tutor since Freshers Week. What about job prospects? Are you going to just give me a job? If only. Although I do want the university to increase the number of internships it has over the summer. Last year, for the 16 internships available, thousands of students applied for them. The university should be making it easier for people to work. Also, for your career aspirations, I want to have a careers fair for every faculty, inviting only companies that are specific to them. Do you mean I might be able to go to a career fair and not see Ernst & Young, PwC and all the other tax companies for once? Yes. Look at the law, engineering and the ECS schools. They have their own fairs, students love them, and they are all one of the best in the country for their departments. Coincidence? I don't think so. I study politics, I do not want to work in finance or banking, and this is something I have found with other people too. Having each faculty have their own careers fair would mean hundreds of companies coming to Southampton, giving students a much wider range of options. What about the library then? During exams it was ridiculous. I got there at 8.30am, and still didn't get a seat. This is true. I asked the head librarian about extending the library again, but it is apparently too expensive. However, one thing that is doable is to be more efficient with space. There are documents that can be digitalized and then removed throughout the whole library, creating more space for desks. I also want a designated space with more tables with plug sockets, so that people who need power know where to go, and that for people who do not want to hear the noise of constant typing, they can sit somewhere as well. I normally use study rooms as I can talk and work within a group. What about them? Well, they are very useful, but they lack technology now. Whiteboards are simply not good enough. I want to see interactive boards installed so that people can give presentations without having to crowd around a laptop. As space increases from removing unnecessary books, there will also be a chance for more study rooms to be created. That sounds good. I also like the fact that I know I am guaranteed a seat if I have booked a study room. Can you help with this? I hope so. I want to install an electronic totalizer at the entrance of the library telling you how many people are in there at that time. It works like a car park sign you see before you drive in. There are just over 1500 seats at desks, 
So by seeing how many people are in the library at that time, you will know how likely it is you will get a seat. If there are lots of people, there would be signs showing you other study areas and computer rooms for you to use. Okay, that sounds all very pleasing. What do I do now? Elementary, my dear. You vote for Sasha Watson. On Monday, go to www.suzu.org slash vote and vote for Sasha Watson for VP Academic Affairs.